first thing most people do once they go to YouTube is search for a video like I have now. But the thing is, if they don't find what they're looking for on the first page, chances are they give up and assume the video is nowhere. But with over 25 million results on just this search alone, chances are what you're looking for is somewhere in there and today I'm going to help you find it. I'm Alex Bavalsik from HowToDoTech.com and today we're going to be looking at YouTube filters. So as I said, this search gave me over 25 million results, so chances are exactly what I'm looking for for the iPhone might not be on this first page. So in order to lower down the amount of results I got for the search, I'm going to use YouTube filters that are located right below the search box. So by hitting filters, I now have tons of different things that I can change to get more relevant results. Now the first thing I would like to say if you're looking for a channel you'll definitely want to use filters because the first two pages alone will most likely be just videos. So by hitting filters then hitting channels I can now see channels that deal strictly with iPhones. Um, now maybe I didn't want a channel and I hit that by mistake I can either hit the X on channel right at the top or open filters again and hit the X for channels right here. Once I do that I go back to the results I had originally and I can choose more filters from here. So let's say I was looking for videos now rather than just channels. So after I've hit the video result type, there's a lot more things I can change to get relevant results. You probably know about how recent this video has to be. So if I'm looking for videos about the iPhone 5S, uh, I'm probably going to want to look for something either this month or maybe this year. So I can change those right now. Maybe I'll go to this month and I've already changed my results from over 25 million to under 1 million. Now let's also say I don't have a lot of time to watch this video. I need to see something quick and then get off to whatever I'm doing. So I'll hit short under duration rather than long. So it's going to be under 4 minutes. Now from here I have really lowered down to over, to about 400,000 results. I can even filter more and the way it's sorted. So if I want to sort it by view count, assuming that view count would mean a more popular video, I can do that right now and then sort it based on view count rather than relevance. Also I can go under features, I don't want to see an SD video, I want high definition. So I'm going to hit that right now and get rid of a pretty large amount of results, over 100,000. Now at this point I have selected quite a lot but maybe I want to go back to relevance for my sorting and then search for a video from here. Now chances are I would have never seen how to use control center um, for iPhone tips from Howcast within that first search that I had. I would have looked at the first page, clicked on one of those things and then just moved on. So you can see how powerful these filters are. We've already gone down to 300,000 results from 25 million. Now using filters will get you more accurate results in a faster way and it should help you with YouTube.com. So we hope you have enjoyed this tutorial from HowToDoTech.com. If you have any questions, please leave them down in a comment below, or you can email us at HowToDoTechYT at gmail.com. We are also on Facebook and Google+, so if you have any questions, you can always ask us there. And feel free to circle us or like the page. You can also click on our YouTube channel to look at more content we have created, or click on one of the icons right now on the screen to go to those playlists to see more tutorials. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I am Alex Bavolsik, and I will see you next time.